Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the Kronos Class Dreadnought, a 31st century vessel that. <laughs> well, it looks like a Wells that uh, worked out every day for six months. Anyway, in case you're wondering where the Wells comes from, well, they tend to have those little spikes on the bottom. And the very zindy, rep <laughs> zindy aquatic style bulges there. If I didn't know anybody any better, I'd say this was a uh, Mon Calamari ship. But the Kronos is not from Star Wars. In fact, if it went to the Star Wars universe, it would be a little overpowered. And give the ex and give the eclipse a um, a bad day, a very bad day. It comes with the chronokinetic capacitor, or is it chronometric? Either way, it. Well, I'm not exactly sure what it does. <laughs> I've been using the ship for years, and I really don't look at the consoles for this thing. I focus more on the set bonuses. Which are always passive. <laughs> I also haven't been playing with this ship much. As you might guess, it requires a hangar bay, which means it requires fighters that are actually useful. Oh, speaking of which, it comes with epoch fighters, which are basically just eons that are reskinned. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I have no lore for this ship because it's uh, from the 31st century. Right around the time of the stupidity of STD. Yeah, that timeline makes no sense. This timeline does! But then again, uh, spoilers for STD. A child having a panic attack didn't cause all the dilithium in the galaxy to... ...spontaneously deactivate. Yeah, that makes no sense. Even by Star Trek standards. But before I get into a review of STD Season 3... It got bad after see Episode 6. Actually, it got bad period. Some is salvageable, some is not. This ship, well, it comes in a bundle. And it also comes in a super bundle. You'll be seeing the other ones soon. It's worth getting. And worth outfitting with some of the best anti-proton weapons you can afford. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.